words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part Two, Letters on the Mother by a Lord, Chapter Ten, The Mother's Help in Difficulties, Page Three Thirty Six, Topic Calling the Mother in Difficulty. Sri Aurobindo says, when difficulties arise, remain quiet within and call down the mother's force to remove them. Date 26th August 1933 To call the mother, says Sri Aurobindo, to call the mother always is the main thing. And with that, to aspire and ascend to the light when it comes, to reject and detach oneself from desire and any dark moment. But if one cannot do these other things successfully, then call and still call. The mother's force is there with you even when you do not feel it. Remain quiet and persevere. Date 15th September 1934 You should not allow yourself to get upset by these small things. If when the moments you complain of Come, you remain quiet and open to the mother and call her. After a time, you will find a change beginning to come in you. Meditation is not enough. Think of the mother. Think of the mother and offer your work and action to her. That will help you better. Date 7th April 1932 There is only one way if you cannot exert your will it is to call the force even the call only with the mind or the mental word is better than being extremely passive and submitted to the attack for Although it may not succeed instantaneously, the mental call even ends by bringing the force and opening up the consciousness again. For everything depends upon that. In the externalized consciousness, obscurity and suffering can always be there. The more the internalized consciousness reigns, the more these things are pushed back and out. And with the full internalized consciousness, they cannot remain. If they come, it is as outside touches, unable to lodge themselves in the being. Date 21st August 1933 Even when one cannot call in actively the mother's force, one must keep the reliance that it will come. Date 26th August 1936 It is the physical mind that feels too inert, but if some part of the being turns to the mother, that is enough to bring the help. Date 25th Jan 1934 In the silence of our heart, there is peace and joy. 
it is an obsession from the subconscious physical bringing back the habitual thoughts i can't call rightly i have no real aspiration etc the depression the memory etc are from the same source it is no use indulging in these ideas if you cannot call the mother in what you think the right way call her in any way if you can't call her think of her with the will to be rid of these things don't worry yourself with the idea whether you have true aspiration or not the psychic being wants and that is sufficient the rest is for the divine grace on which one must steadfastly rely one's own merit virtue or capacity is not the thing that brings the realization i shall send the force to rid you of this obsession in any case but if you can abandon these habitual ideas it will make the disappearance of the attack easier date 4th jan 1937 it is always best in these difficulties says sri aurobindo it is always best in these difficulties to tell the mother and call for her help it is probably something in his vital that needs somebody to protect and care for you must accustom yourself to the idea that it is not needed and the best thing is to give the person to the care of the mother offer the object of your affection to her date 15th november 1937